welcome to The Rundown, a weekly LinkedIn video webcast where we share insights from partners in the Clio ecosystem. All right, everyone, welcome back to The Rundown. Today, I have the pleasure of uh, being alongside Ify, which is a, a current Clio customer for about a year now out of New York City. Ify, thanks for joining us today. How are you? Good, good. How are you? Good, thank you, and uh, definitely win the award for the best dress so far on the first uh, first twenty two episodes of the rundown. So you're setting the bar high. I love it. Thanks for uh, oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks for joining us. So you know, as we discussed, uh, really like to take the opportunity to have conversations with current partners in our app ecosystem, current partners in you know my consulting uh, arm of our business, and also some customers just to learn a little bit more about your experience with Clio and the impacts that you know, we're having on the world right now. So I actually got introduced to you by one of our sales reps, uh, Valor, and he had mentioned that he had, you know, sold Clio to you about a year ago, and you're starting to actually implement video into your practice. So I thought that you'd be a super good candidate for, you know, presenting on the rundown here, which leads me to my first question for you, which is talk to me about the impact that video really has on and LinkedIn has on your business as a whole um, running your law firm. Yeah, so I practice um, immigration law uh, here in New York City, and uh, I've been starting to leverage video, um, especially during this COVID-19 pandemic when, when people otherwise can't really get to see each other face to face. Um, you know, video is a good medium to just sort of transport myself to their, uh, you know, screens and sort of rekindle old relationships on LinkedIn. Uh, you know, I post videos of my practice of emerging trends in immigration law. And when people view that, um, you know, there's, they're keeping me top of mind and I'm staying relevant to them. Uh, and also for potential customers, uh, it, it provides like a touch point for, for you know, someone who, who is like, you know, my connection on LinkedIn and they're thinking about hiring me, but then they see some of my videos and, and they see what they're gonna get uh, when they hire an attorney, especially, um, you know, there's a platform called WeChat where a lot of my clients, uh, you know, congregate and so, you know, once I post a video on that, they can send that to other people in their network. And, uh, you know, from there, my, my, just my brand just spreads. And, um, you know, when I'm litigating the courtroom is, is what I do on video. So if they're, they're thinking, you know, I want to hire this guy, where should I hire someone else? I'm giving them like a sample of, of what I do. And, and this is what I do. Yeah, no, that's, that's a great answer. And I think, um, I definitely value the importance of video. It's sort of the reason that I started the rundown uh, in the first place. And quite honestly, I'm super pumped to uh, to be in the WeChat congregation there and uh, and get famous. <laughs> um, that, that's that's great though. I'm, I'm glad that you've really taken on this new initiative um, in order to actually um, get that touch point with your customers and client base to to showcase who you are as an attorney and really differentiate yourself. Um, can you talk to us a little bit about how Clio as a tool has actually helped transition the world of remote work? Um, obviously, we weren't all stuck at home a year ago when you bought Clio, but having the ability to be up and running on Clio pre-COVID, I'm interested to know how it's actually helped you transition to a work from home environment. Yeah, so basically there's two parts uh, of Clio. One is the Clio Manage and Clio Grow. So Clio Manage actually helps because I actually import a lot of stuff onto the cloud. Uh, for example, all my contacts, their information is on the cloud, some of their documents. Uh, and and uh, based on that, I'm able to you know, work from home based on the, the stuff I already have stored because of Clio's uh, infrastructure. And also Clio integrates very well with third-party softwares like uh, QuickBooks, um, which I use to keep accounting um, up to date when I'm practicing and also one important part is uh, wall pay where now people can't really do face-to-face -face cash transactions so processing you know this money and uh, going through the the cloud is, is something that's important to me um, especially in covid and um, the second aspect clear grow uh, one thing that i really like is um, the fact that you can send documents to clients um, not even new clients like old existing clients too and they can sign it remotely uh, a lot of procedures in immigration law, they they're actually uh, don't even require wet signatures anymore. So anything using an electronic signature would, would work for government agencies at this point. Um, so I'm, I'm drafting like USCIS forms, having them sign it uh, through uh, Clio Grow. And uh, also I'm drafting retainer agreements, sending them. And, you know, you can even like text them 
the, the, the stuff that they can sign. So, um, you know, it's very important to have this, you know, infrastructure in place yeah. when you're practicing law in, in COVID. Yeah, and, and Cleo's definitely seen the importance of, you know, both on the payment side and the uptick of people actually accepting payments virtually or via credit card and also on the e-signature front um, and actually implemented the e-signature with inside of Clio Manage as well um, as, of, as of recent. So super, super important on that front. Um, last piece for you here, you know, regardless of platform and cloud and things like that, every business runs through challenges, especially within these transitions. Can you walk me through maybe what your biggest challenge has been for your firm um, in the recent transition? Yeah, I mean, there's two sides to this. One is retaining one one new client uh, takes a lot more work now. Uh, it used to be that people would just call me, pick up the phone, or they would just come into the office, and we would have that face-to-face. -face. And, you know, that sort of builds trust. But then because of, uh, you know, we can't really see each other, uh, we, we have to do everything remotely, do video calls and uh, sort of follow-ups. And, you know, again, pipeline management from Clio Girl helps with that. And, you know, even with retain these clients after retaining them, um, you know, everybody expecting you to be on call now because of, uh, you know, they think you're at home. So people are just sending you emails uh, saying that, you know, text messages ex expecting you to respond immediately. Um, so, and they're saying that you're going to be at home tomorrow anyway. So who cares if it's a Sunday today? So just, uh, you know, being on call at all times, getting new clients. And also, you know, people don't have cash right now. A lot of my clients, uh, they're in the service industry and, they're non-essential workers. So, you know, dealing with uh, the cash flow of the firm, but hopefully we can, uh, you know, get through all this and, you know, just finishing the day-to-day -day is, is a grind, but hopefully we'll, we'll get through all of this based on the, you know, the impact that Cleo has made on my practice. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for those insights. Uh, we all appreciate you sort of coming on the, on the podcast today and, and walking us through, um, you know, how you leverage Clio, your practice in general, and, and really showcasing that challenges do exist. Um, you know, no matter who you are, what software you, you leverage or anything in between. So if you thank you so much for joining us and uh, look forward to reconnecting. Thanks, Ann. Uh, happy to be on this show. Thank you so much.